Hello my friends, tonight I wanted to share a one small subtle change in your daily language that can result in big differences when we talk about time management and organization. And that difference is a sentence when you catch yourself saying, I didn't have the time or uh, I, I was so busy or things like that. Just switch that to it was not my priority today because you go from victim mentality to a mentality of a successful person that takes full ownership and responsibility of their own life. So don't blame your children, your job, your boss, your husband or wife, your friends or the laundry machine that went crazy. Just own it and say, listen, um, I just couldn't do it because it was not my priority today. I was fixing my laundry machine. It sounds so much better to you and to others because you're not doing the dog ate my homework kind of excuse. When women and men that are over 10 years old say I didn't have the time, I feel like they're saying my dog ate my homework. Like really guys, let's just own it. I, when I want to say something like that, I just tell myself, Jovana, don't lie to yourself or to others. Just be real, be honest and say how it was. So in, instead of saying, hey, I won't have time to go for you uh, to do that thing if somebody asks me to do something, I will not say that. I will say, sorry, that's not my priority. This weekend I plan to film videos for YouTube. And I'm always honest and I don't say it mean, I say it with a smile and I'm like, sorry, that's not my priority. This weekend I plan to film my YouTube videos or even this week I just plan to stay at home and rest and read books. And putting your words out there and just being honest, people who are normal people, like who are not insecure, will not take it personally. They will see from your tone of voice and your eyes that you are just protecting your boundaries and you are just taking care of yourself. And some people will learn from you and some friends even tell me, wow, you, have, you, you, you really take a good care of yourself. And I say, yeah, I learned that because I didn't used to and I was always exhausted and tired and I used to go around and do and perform other people's tasks and I couldn't even get my own because if you go through life performing other people's urgent things, you don't have time for your own important things. So to conclude, instead of pretending like time and life happens to you, take full responsibility and extreme ownership as Jocko Willink likes to say of your life and your time. And instead of saying, yeah, I didn't have the time, just be honest and say that was not my priority. And that's enough because you don't have to explain yourself to anyone, but you should not be lying to yourself either.